What is up guys, Manashia and in today's video I just wanted to showcase how effective Shiok is against the No Retreat Champion boss in Act 6 Chapter 2. So I actually took her to rank 5 just a few days ago and I've been playing around with her here and there in Abyss and Act 6 and yeah so I actually wanted to show how quickly she can take down this fight with the Mr. Fantastic synergy. And this synergy works with all science and tech champs, but it works really well with She-Hulk because it scales with her furies. So once you get a couple of furies, the power sting damage really starts to ramp up. So basically how it works is whenever you place a debuff, you also place a power sting passive and it stacks up to 3. So I had about 9 passive furies with She-Hulk and I was doing 20,000 power sting damage. Shiok already has some very impressive damage potential, but this power sting synergy just takes it to a whole new level. Okay, so let's jump into the fight. Act 6.2.6, .6, No Retreat Champion. And I actually haven't done this fight since, or rather I haven't done this fight with No Retreat since July last year. Actually, the first video I ever released on YouTube was Shiok, rank 3 Shiok doing No Retreat, lost 10%. And that was back when she could still end combos with a heavy attack, which made it a lot easier. But yeah, so I had to bring four 5-star science champs to get through the science gate. And fortunately, it's an easy path. I did most of it with Human Torch with a little bit of Nick Fury. Ah, but yeah, let's go in. And he does start the fight unstoppable, so I parry and then I throw a heavy. Then I rush in to intercept. Then I backdraft and then I throw a special one. And now he's got three power sting passes on him. I only have two furies. Now I only have one because he's not cooperating. So that one didn't do that much damage, but it's gonna ramp up quite a lot when I have more furies. So basically the key to this fight is you wanna dex as little as possible. So ideally you wanna give yourself enough space where you can actually dash back and dex without triggering no retreat. Unfortunately, with She-Hulk, her Furies also have a taunt mechanic, which makes the champion more likely to throw the specials, which makes managing the fight a lot easier. So I just knock him down with the heavy attack, then I rush in, do a combo, throw a special one, then I don't dash forward or anything, I just wait there for him, then usually he will throw a special one, then I can hold my heavy attack and punish him with it. And the timing is very tight, but it actually is possible to do this entire fight without ever triggering No Retreat. Because with Champion Specials and how much space it gives you, and the No Retreat node and the timer, you have just enough space to dash back once, then he throws a special one, then you can dash back again, then you punish him with the heavy attack. So yeah, Shark is an absolute beast for this fight. I mean, she just goes through it so quickly. We're not even two minutes in and we're already at the last 10%. So I think the damage is already very impressive. And now here's where the real fun begins, where you have to dex him five times to get rid of those indestructible charges. So yeah, it's the end of the fight, so I realized that I can actually probably just trigger no retreat a few times, just to make dexing that special one a lot easier. Although you can do it without triggering no retreat at all. So yeah, I'm like, okay, this is actually going really well. I've got three prowesses, I just have to dex him two more times, and the fight will be over. One more, and it's all good, eh? I'm almost there, I can already feel it. And then, I get comboed, he intercepts me, I did not get the timing right, and I go down. So yeah, that was quite annoying, especially because I only had one more dex left to solo him. So guess what I'm gonna do now? Use Quake. So yeah, Quake is also actually a, quite a good option for this fight as well, especially the last 10%. So basically with Quake, what I'm doing is, I'm going to try to trigger Dex as little as I can, which means I'm mostly going to rely on Heavy only for this fight. So when I get that stun on him with Aftershocks and Concussion, I do a combo and I end with the Heavy just to give myself space, push him to a power of power, then I can Dex a special one without triggering no retreat, then I go back to Quaking, and now, because I don't want to trigger no retreat, I'm going to do heavy only here. 
And now he does have Unstoppable, so I'm not gonna hit him yet. So yeah, I'm going with Heavy only, do a full combo, end with a Heavy attack, give myself some space, let him come to me, that's the important punch, I want him to come to you instead of rushing into him. So you have the space to dex and you don't trigger no retreat. Go back to Heavy only. Okay, Aftershock Concussion, go back in. Do a combo ending with the heavy attack. Let him come to you. And basically you can dex it just after no retreat would trigger. So the timing is very tight, but you can do it without triggering no retreat. And once again, do a full combo, then a heavy attack. And yeah, so this is also going pretty well, pretty smooth. I'm barely taking any damage in this fight. Yeah, I get a short one. And here, I was a little bit greedy. I tried to intercept with the light attack, but it didn't work out. Then I got a combo there. Now I'm at 2% health, so I'm like, okay, yeah. That probably wasn't a good idea. It was just me trying to be greedy and end the fight faster than I could have. And that's the last dex. Drop my heavy. Special 3. And he goes down. So yeah, this is quite a skill intensive fight, but if you do your duels and you practice evading your special one enough times, you can get it down. It's more about that repetition and building that muscle memory. And I actually find it a lot easier to do with Quake, especially that last 10% because I've done the practice and like I'm pretty comfortable with Quake and I've fought the champion with her lots of times before I've practiced in the duels. But yeah, I actually even managed to do it with the rank 3 Mr. Fantastic. I can add a clip of that as well. But actually, to my surprise, I actually didn't even know this about Mr. Fantastic, but his special one can nullify. So I did that, and with some champs, based on how the animations are, you can actually dex his special one twice. As in, you dex the first part or the second part, then you go in for the headbutt, and you dex it again. Uh, I haven't been able to do it with every champ, but I've done it with a couple of champs and it works quite nicely. It makes the fight a lot quicker and easier if you can get it down. So if you don't want to bait too many special ones, then I recommend practicing doing two dexes from one special. And this was during my first attempt. I got him to the last 10% again with Shi'ar, but it was a lot faster. It took me about a minute and a half to do it, and I had about 22 Furies and 82% health. And I managed to dex his special one three times before I eventually got KO'd. Then I went in with Mr. Fantastic that time. I didn't have Quake at the time because she was in Alliance War. So I went in with Mr. Fantastic and I managed to get 4 DEXs with no retreat on. And this is just a rank 3 unawakened Mr. Fantastic as well. So he actually could be a decent option for this as well. Although I haven't really looked into him that much. But yeah. But yeah, I also wanted to just showcase how much better she is with that synergy. You know, it really does increase her damage by quite a bit. And it's going to be pretty useful in Abyss as well. She can be a good alternative to using it in Abyss where... Maybe you don't have an Aegon, she can do a lot of fights on her own, and especially with the Mr. Fantastic synergy, the fight times will be drastically reduced. But I'd say the main thing about this fight is, you only want to dash back when you need to. That's why you see, after I throw the special one, I just stand there and actually wait for she to passively go to the champion, or the champion to come to she -Hulk. You know, I don't want to dash in or dash back after that. The only time I dash back usually is when I land a heavy attack when it's in a corner because I know I have enough space to dash back again before triggering no retreat. So yeah, the key thing is only dash back when you need to. So you actually want to be a little bit more passive and let him come to you as much as you can. Because, you know, with those Furies and just his general AI, he will be pretty aggressive and he should be throwing specials a lot more frequently and that makes managing the fight easier as well. And yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys find it useful. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.